With COVID-19 spread mainly through the air, the nose is a main point of entry. So this lab at the University of Sao Paulo is targeting the same route for an antidote, a nasal spray vaccine. Researchers are planning to begin human trials early next year and hope to have the medication cleared for use by the end of 2022. Com isso nós queremos evitar infecção. With this spray, we want to fight the infection, not only the disease. The current vaccines defend the body against the development of severe symptoms, but are not so effective against the infection. And if we don't stop the infection through the nose, even in people already vaccinated, transmission will continue and the pandemic won't be controlled. The mouth is another common entry point, and Brazilian researchers have also developed a tool to fight COVID-19 there in patients who contract the disease. It's a chemical compound that researchers say, when used in a mouthwash, can largely neutralize SARS-CoV-2 and prevent it from spreading further into the body. The scientist from one of the labs conducting the research says the molecule that neutralizes the virus, called phytalocyanine, is now also being used to boost protection of face masks. But it was in the mouthwash that it has so far shown the greatest potential. In the beginning of the infection, the virus replicates a lot in the mouth cavity. As we know, much of the transmission happens with droplets and aerosols from the mouth. If the mouthwash is used at this moment, the viral load, the quantity of virus, can be reduced, and this reduces the consequences of the infection. The mouthwash was tested in COVID-19 patients who had light to moderate symptoms. In a blind study, 20 patients were given the actual chemical compound, while 21 others received the placebo. Results showed significant benefit among those in the active group. None of the patients who used the actual active ingredient had to go to intensive care and they had to remain hospitalized on average four fewer days than those who were given the placebo. And among the patients who took the placebo, one-third needed intensive care, and half of these ultimately died of the disease. The anti-COVID mouthwash is already produced and sold over-the-counter in Brazilian pharmacies, adding a simple and accessible resource to the pandemic fight. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.